So let's quickly look at the distribution of potassium in the body. This is us looking at the amounts, the percentages, and all the stuff, right? The potassium found in this place, the potassium found in this place, and all the stuff, okay? So let's look at the distribution of potassium in the body. So, so that potential, uh, potassium is actually an essential mineral, an electrolyte in the body, right? It plays a crucial role in the various physiological processes, okay? So here is an overview of potassium distribution in the body. Uh, we have the total potassium, total body potassium. And uh, we said that approximately what? 98% of total body potassium is found inside the cells. That's what? Intracellular. Right? Intracellular. You have almost all of it. 150 to 160 millimoles per liter. Then the extracellular is just what? This percentage here is just two. All right, so the remaining 2% is found in the extracellular fluids. That's what things like blood, interstitial fluid, and lymphs. All right, so talking about the intracellular distribution, we said that muscles, that are the skeletal muscles and smooth muscles, inside this 98%, the skeletal muscles and smooth muscles have about 70 to 80% of the total body potassium. Then, liver, um, the liver has about what? Five to six percent of it, all right. Then, um, red blood cells is about what red blood cells have about four to five percent of it, all right. Bones have about what two to three percent of it. Then, other tissues like nerve system, skin, and all the stuff have about what one to two percent of the total body potassium, all right. So, moving talking about the extracellular distribution. Uh, blood plasma has about 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 of the total body potassium. Interstitial fluid is about what? Uh, interstitial fluid has about what, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 percent. The lymphs have about 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 percent of the total body potassium. They're talking about the regulation of potassium. That's basically what the movement of potassium between these two compartments that's intracellular compartment and the extracellular compartment we said that the potassium levels are tightly regulated by body and what is this what is why is this done this is done to maintain homeostasis all right and also hormones like aldosterone and insulin can help to regulate the potassium balance kidneys play a crucial role in potassium excretion and reabsorption all right what is the function of potassium in the body? To maintain a healthy heart function and blood pressure, to regulate muscle contraction and relaxation, to support nerve function and transmission, to regulate fluid balance and what pH levels in the body. Okay, so this is a distribution of what potassium in the body between what the extracellular compartment and the intracellular compartment. All right.